Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will use a worked example to show you how you work out the initial size of a concrete beam. We have continuous beams, which have an effective span of 6 meters and supports a dead load of 5 kilonewtons per meter and an imposed load of 10 kilonewtons per meter. We need to determine the suitable dimensions for the effective depth and width of the beam. First, we are going to find the effective depth. For continuous beams, span, effective ratio is 15. Hence, effective depth equals 6 meters times 1000 to convert it to millimeters, divided by 15. This gives us value of 400 millimeters. Next, we need to work out the total ultimate load, which is 1.4 times the dead load of 5 kilonewtons per meter plus 1.6 times the imposed load of 10 kilonewtons per meter times the span 6 meters. This results in a value of 138 kilonewtons. For interior supports, the design shear force would be 0.6 times the total ultimate load 138 kilonewtons. This gives us a value of 82.8 kilonewtons. We have a little equation that helps us to calculate the design shear stress. So, the design shear stress is equal to design shear force divided by the effective depth times the width. Now if we assume design shear stress equals 1.2 newton per square millimeter. This gives a beam width, which is design shear force 82.8 kilonewtons, times 1000 to convert it to newton, then divided by the beam depth of 400 millimeters, times the design shear stress 1.2 newton per square millimeter, giving us an approximately value of 175 millimeters. Hence, a beam of width 175 millimeters, and effective depth 400 millimeters, would be suitable to support the given design loads. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.